Hello, this is Genii Studios. My name is Shadowcrafter345, and I am here playing Minecraft Hunger Games on MCPVP. Uh, I will have a link in the description to their website, uh, so you can play along as well. I definitely re uh, recommend it. It is the best Hunger Games on Minecraft that I've ever found, um, uh, and it's it, it is a lot of fun. Uh, so if you are unfamiliar with the Hunger Games uh, on Minecraft, I suppose uh, you spawn with um, a kit of your choice uh, and the kits have different they s either spawn with different items or they have different abilities um, such as like a barbarian spawns with a stone sword and a fisherman spawns with a fishing pole uh, I am going to be playing the monk kit uh, and I'm going to kind of be reviewing it uh, as well as um, just kind of just more of a, sh uh, a, sh a show off types of things of just showing off the kit, um, uh, more than the little short clip review of the kit, uh, and if I if if I can do well enough uh, to actually get a good review for it. So um, what the monk kit does is you spawn with a blaze rod uh, that when you hit someone uh, with it, it will scramble up their inventory. So if they are holding a sword in their hand. Uh, you can make it so they are no longer holding the sword in their hand, uh, and it gets taken out of their hotbar, uh, so they have to either punch you or hit hit you with something else in their hotbar. Um, and uh, it's very, very useful. Um, I, it's cr uh, it's crazy how fast you can take someone down when they're just uh, uh, using their fist as opposed to a sword. Um, so that is what we're going to do today. So... First things first, we must get stone. Uh, and I will try to explain all the kits as, as I see them. Um, I'm not too good at, uh, at doing that, so uh, I recommend that you just go on their website, and there's a whole list of them. Uh, they rotate three free kits every once in a while, um, and then uh, you, there's tons you can buy, and they're all very well done, and uh, it, it, it is just a fantastic uh Hunger Games server. So, um, let's see. So, uh, first get stone, then get sword, and then we'll hunt some people. Um, hopefully, maybe I should just go in this ravine and get some iron. That might be a better idea. Uh, since there's a tree down there, I don't really need to get as much wood. I'm just gonna go down, go down another level. There's tons of iron. This is perfect. Um, here we go. There we go. There we go. Plenty of iron. Four whole stacks of iron. Uh, all the lightning that you hear in the background uh, isn't uh, like people di uh, dying or naturally occurring li uh, lightning. It is um, actually a I did not make a sword. Uh, it is actually a kit called Thor. Uh, you spawn with a wooden axe. When you right click it calls down li uh, li lightning. It's a very good kit. Uh, and I'll probably be doing a care review for that one as well. Uh, kit playthrough. I need to stop calling it a care review because people might get confused. But, um, alright. This is perfect. We're gonna do awesome. I've got a good feeling about this round. Alright, so just to show off what this kit can do. Um, sneak up on this guy. I really need this iron though. He doesn't even realize. Oh gosh, I can't even hit him. Okay, so see how he had a sword in his hand? I hit him with the uh, blaze rod and it took it out of his hand, so he had to punch me with his fist. He was a cannibal, which, uh, as you can see, I've got hunger. Uh, when he, he hits you, uh, you get hunger too, and um, it fills his hunger bar, so uh, that's what that does. Uh, I might get a full set of iron armor pretty st straight off the bat here. This is kind of cool. Um, it takes 24 iron to make a full set of iron, of iron armor. Uh, it's always nice to know so you don't get too much iron. Spend too much time getting iron and more time out there killing people. Um, oh, there is a guy up there. Hmm. And he doesn't see me yet. I don't think. I hope not. Or he's planning his, a his attack. Either or. 
Uh, he could be a stomper. Uh, what would a stomper does? He doesn't spawn with anything, but uh, he um, can jump down on people. He has a, he can take a max of two hearts of fall damage, and the rest of that damage gets channeled within five blocks of the of where of where you jumped. Um, and so you can just jump on people and do tons of damage. Um, it's, that's an excellent kit. I really love that kit. I will probably do a uh, video on that one as well. Uh, kind of takes a while to learn how to play it, right? But it is one of the better kits uh, at MinecraftPVP.com. So let's see. Let's get some iron cooking here. Probably get another one of these furnaces so we can cook it faster. All right. Get a little bit of coal going on in here. All right. Um. There he is. He's still chilling up there. So, um, you may have noticed this comes to my inventory. I, if you are new to the Hunger Games, you, um, you don't know what it does. Uh, but what it does, I can click on the ground and say, uh, as you can see in the bottom left, uh, it will, the compass will point towards players. This makes it so the games don't last nearly as long and people just can't, like, hide at the bottom of the world. And it's very, very nice. Uh, alright, here we go. So I'll be using that uh, towards the end of the game. Right, right now I'm just. Oh gosh. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Oh yeah. See, he had an iron sword in his hand, in his hand. But uh, I was able to uh, use my blaze rod to take it out of his hot bar, so he had to hit me with something else. Perfect. Now I don't have to make a iron sword. Lovely. All right. The reason I'm getting rid of everything in my inventory is uh, mainly because uh, after the first night, there's a thing called a feast. Um, uh, if you've read the Hunger Games books, you um, will know that it's they call everyone together um, and they say, "Okay, there's tons of stuff that you need here at this location at this time," uh, and it's basically to drop players together and uh, have them fight each other just to make the games go faster. But there are some very good stuff in there. There's uh, like uh, diamond armor, food, t uh, TNT, potions. Uh, so, uh, I've, I've, it, it'd be really, really hard to win without going to the feast. Um, I definitely recommend go uh, going to the feast unless you're playing a, um, a really aggressive kit like Assassin. Um, uh, and what Assassin does is you spawn with five redstone, and when you right click with that redstone on the ground, it'll make it so uh, you can, uh, as long as you are using a sword, um, you can one shot people for like 1.5 seconds, which is really, really crazy um, for a one on one. But uh, you have four seconds of vulnerability where you, where people can one shot you with just a fist or whatever they they can just punch you and you're dead so it's really bad for taking on teams um, more for one-on-one -on -one. that'd be the only class I can think of that would be able to not go to the feast and still have a chance of, of winning um, I'm sure that there's others and there's plenty of other stra strategies um, if you don't oh actually yes if you don't make it to the feast uh, and you're playing like a kid that isn't as aggressive as uh, as um, assassin, uh, you can uh, build a big, big tower up and build a little sky base, and as long and just get a ton of snowballs. And when people uh, tower up to you, you can throw snowballs at them and knock them off and have them fall to their deaths, uh, since fall damage does go through armor. Um, so, but that's becoming easily countered these days because people are learning that you can actually disconnect. Um, and uh, and then log back in, um, and you won't take any damage for like five se uh, seconds. So you can actually fall all the way to the ground and be fine. You don't take any fall damage. Uh, but that uh, that is still a pre pretty good stra strategy. There's I've I I've gotten lots of kills with that, um, uh, just from getting people that don't know how to uh, use that little glitch. All right, so I've gotten a pretty good start here. Got full iron armor. Uh, now I just kind of like, basically, since like there isn't really much you can do uh, until the feast, you just kind of hunt people down. Uh, I can see if there's anybody around. 
Um, but I'm not quite in the clear yet because I really need to get. Uh, don't need all these things. There. Actually, I guess I do need one just in case I can find food to cook. Shit, was that a chicken I heard earlier? And maybe I can hunt someone down and find out that they've got tons of food. That'd be lovely. Alright, so. Mm, just do a quick little. Oh, I guess I need seeds if I'm gonna grow wheat. Oh. Hey, friend. I can think I'm on his team. Sure. Alright, now this could backfire in my face. Oof, jeez. Okay. 30 players left, that's kinda cool. Um, oh jeez, I cannot leave that kid alone. I guess I should just hope that. Ugh, I don't really don't want to kill him because that's, that's just rude. But I may have to resort to it if I can't get food soon because he could easily just end my life. Oh, there's guys over there, little nameplates. Ask him if he's got any seeds. Tell Ralph got any seeds. Did he just fall to his death? He is still alive. Congratulations, sir. Um. Oh, jeez. I really need to get a seed here. I don't know. I got the bones. really any use without the seed. Each bone translates into one bread, so let's see if I can get another. Ow. Oh, perfect. It's four bread. Because I'm using more hunger than I planned on to get seeds. Alright, so maybe I'll, I'm going to be on his team, but I'll just leave him alone. He's pretty uh, low-tech right now, anyway. I can afford to leave him alone for now. Perfect. More seeds. Oh, okay, I'm um, I'm good now. I I usually like to get two seeds because then I for sure um, then I for sure um hat or well like not for sure I suppose uh, I've got a much better chance of not of like losing a seed like that that wheat didn't give me a seed um, so I usually do two but right now I cannot afford oh, come on I believe. There we go. Holy shoot. Get him with something, get him with something. Gosh, I'm gonna die. Ah. Alright, well, there you have it. <laughs> oh, that was me playing uh some monk. Uh, next time get food. That is probably what I should have done. But uh, you have basically saw what the kit could do. Uh, just make sure that you have food and make sure that you have a decent sword so you can uh, do enough da uh, enough damage while they're fum fumbling in their inventory for their sword. Uh, well, that's all, th uh, that's all for now. I hope to see you guys next time.